up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rich Reviews. Hmm. Wonder Woman is directed by Patty Jenkins and stars Gal Gadot as Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman. The film is an origin story that focuses on Diana's early life on Themyscira, a hidden island where an Amazon race of warrior women thrive. One day, a pilot, Captain Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine, crashes his plane near the island. After being rescued by Diana, Steve informs the Amazon warriors that the war to end all wars is taking place and millions of lives are at stake. Believing this to be the work of an old enemy, Ares, the god of war, Diana journeys with Steve into the world of man with the hopes of defeating Ares and bringing peace to mankind. So yeah, this, um, this is a really good movie. Wonderful, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So Wonder Woman is the fourth film in the DC Extended Universe. Um, this is kind of like, you know, the answer to Marvel's Cinematic Universe. DC Comics has their own um, film franchise going. They started with Man of Steel, and then we got Batman vs. Superman, and then we got Suicide Squad, and now we have Wonder Woman. The other films uh, that I have, those are going to be other videos that we're going to get to one day, but long story short, a lot of people, myself included, have been kind of mixed about the DC films so far. There's been good things about them and not so good things about them. And I've always left each one of them kind of with mixed feelings. But this one, without a doubt, is freaking awesome. I love Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot does a really good job at portraying Wonder Woman. I mean, this is a character who is a female lead and she's she's really strong. I rank Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman up there with Ripley from Aliens and Sarah Connor from the Terminator films. I uh, really, really, really love this character. The first time I was introduced to Gal Gadot was through the Fast and Furious films and she did really good in those movies for what little bit of time she was in them. I mean, I really enjoyed her, but she she didn't really super stand out in those films. You know, that those films were all about the diesel. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Brian, I gotta tell you, family, that's the most important thing. <laughs> Anyways, getting back on track here. So yeah, Gal Gadot delivers a really, really good performance in this film. She brings a certain childlike quality to it because she's never been exposed to the world of man. And this is her first time you know, venturing out of Themyscira. And so she has the typical, you know, the, the story tropes of, oh, we're trying on the clothes, or you can't do this a certain way because this is a time when women really didn't have as much as say so, so it's really not good for you to be in this room with all these men talking about war stuff and, you know, trying to throw your two cents in because you're a woman and uh, get back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Misogyny! But all in all, I really loved Gal Gadot in this film. Not only is she beautiful, I mean, of course, yes, yeah, she's, she's beautiful. <laughs> She's hot. I mean, if I was in the trenches of World War I, let me tell you something right now. I would love to see that beauty running out in the battlefield to save me. <laughs> Misogyny! And that's the main thing I love about this film is just the fact that, you know, we've had tons of superhero films and they've made it all about, you know, the hero and like, you know, becoming human and like, who am I and what am I going to do? Or like, with great power comes great responsibility. But here comes a character that just wants to be a hero because it's what she wants to do. She wants to do good. She wants to stop and help every person she can along the way. And she has to realize that, you know, you can't save everybody. But it doesn't stop her from trying. And she doesn't let anybody tell her what to do. She, If she wants to go save somebody, she is going to go save somebody, Chris Pine. She's going to go save them. She's Wonder Woman, and it's what she does. That brings us to Chris Pine, who was a really good character. I really like Chris Pine in this movie as Steve Trevor. Sometimes in these films, you know, where there's it's a female lead and we want to show how strong women can be because, you know, they are, they can be really strong. There's a lot of women that can kick my ass. See that? Oh, yeah, ladies. Look at that. Let me get them both out. Pew, pew, pew. Mmm, yeah. We're going to edit that out. But the thing I like about this film is that it gave a strong female character, you know, for the lead, but it also didn't make the, the male characters 
complete idiots. Ghostbusters 2016. But no, like, Chris Pine was a very strong supporting character and you know they have sort of a relationship that builds throughout the film and it's very well done. You know they're both independent people and they both come from these different worlds and they learn from each other and they work together and it, it's it's beautiful. It's great. I, I really I really dug it. Good job Kirk. Uh, good job. Spock would be proud you know yeah. Robin Wright is in this film as General Antiope, Antope, uh, Diana's aunt. That's what she is. She's the aunt of Wonder Woman. She's the mentor for Diana. Um, she trains her to be a strong warrior and pushes her to her full potential and pretty much, you know, makes her a badass. She does a really good job in the film. You know, I, I always... I know her from The Princess Bride, which is a completely, totally different character. Uh, if this character was in The Princess Bride, she would not be waiting. <laughs> she would not be waiting on Wesley to save her. I, I just know her as General Jenny. Jenny, why won't you make me an Amazon warrior? I'm not a smart man, but I know what Wonder Woman is. Why did my Forrest Gump almost go into like John Wayne territory? That's right, little pilgrim. You gotta train to be an Amazon warrior princess. As far as the story and the plot goes, it's a pretty straightforward origin story for a superhero film, but it's done very well. I know we all kind of get bored with the whole origin story of, oh, you start out here and you gotta learn who you are and blah, 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 blah. But I mean, it works here. We, we really, we take our time, but not too long to watch Diana grow and grow into the young woman and then she leaves and goes to the world of man and she grows there. She learns that, you know, there is no like good and evil, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a gray area there. I can't get these things to work. Everything moves at a very good pace. Um, the one negative that I'll say about the film, and this is just, this is nitpicking, the ending the last act, like the last, you know, the, the fight scenes, it kind of divulges into that over-the-top superior action, like, blah, like, you know, we've all seen it before, but, I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I mean, it's, it's good. The villains in this film are a little, eh, it's okay. I mean, I, I thought they were, I thought that they worked. I mean, Jeff Bridges in Iron Man isn't the best villain ever, but he worked and I liked him as a villain in that movie. I thought he was good. That's just me trying to find some negativity in this film. I, it's really hard to do because there's really not much of it there. No one is, you know, getting upset that they called someone Martha. Really? But no, the, the plot, the, the pacing is very good. The story is, you know, it's a, it's an origin story, but it's done very well. And there are characters in this film that you care about. That's the main thing. It can be an origin story. It can be a tale that's been told a hundred times. As long as the characters are good and we give a shit about them, it's, it's going to work for me. Rupert Gregson Williams did the score for the film and it's awesome. I love the music in this film. When that score is building and... Wonder Woman's climbing out of the trenches. You see it in the trailer and she's on the battlefield and she, oh my God, it's such an amazing moment. I love it so much. It's so good. As far as the style of this film, the colors are great. It doesn't all have to be so dark, Zack Snyder. It doesn't all have to be bleak and ugh. This is what I wanted for Man of Steel. It's dark and it's it's gritty enough to where it blends in and it fits with this this universe that they're going for. But Wonder Woman pops out. There's there's a lot more colors in this film, and you know that's what I wanted for Superman because Superman and Wonder Woman they have dark moments in their lives, but for the most part, these superheroes are supposed to be like bright and yes, we're superheroes and we're gonna save. The day. Just not like super cheesy. Batman works as being dark. Batman works for brooding and darkness and you know all that gritty really Alfred I really want to kill the Joker but I can't because it goes against my code. <sighs> so what's the verdict? Wonder Woman is a fantastic entry into the DC Extended Universe. I want more of the DC films 
to feel like this, you know? I, I want that fun, you know? I know Marvel is the one that's, you know, we, we're fun, we're fun superhero films. We, we can be fun, summer fun for everyone. Now I don't want DC to be completely like Marvel, but superhero films, I believe, at their core are supposed to be fun. Go see Wonder Woman. I know this review's coming out a little late, and a lot of you probably have already seen it. Well, go see it again, because it definitely deserves your money, and this movie's breaking all kinds of records, as it should. This is a really good film, and ever since the trailer for it came out a while back, the first trailer, I've been on board for this film. I've been a little skeptical, because I know DC, you know, uh, come on. But I've believed in it, and it's so good to just walk out of the theater going, you know, I rooted for you, you went up to bat, and you knocked it out of the park. So this has been Rich Reviews. I hope you enjoyed it.